the arrival of Oba's brother, Igbe, that was sent from the Bini Kingdom. When Igbe arrived, Nto, the leader of the settlement, was briefed. Without hesitation, Nto accepted the message of the Oba and Igbe became the king of the settlement at that time. The title given to Igbe by the Oba at that time was Enugi no Risi, that is, the king abroad of Igbonto. Nto trees were popularly referred to as Igbonto. As such, Igbe was the king at that time, named the settlement Igbonto, now called Igbonto. After the arrival of Igbe, Princess Iru put to birth. The child was named Omodia. The message was sent to Oba. The Oba, being so happy for the safe delivery of his daughter, sent a betty medicine called Igbehu. In Benin language, meaning betty medicine. Ikwehu is called Ikwehia, which is now a shrine at Igbonto. The people of Igbonto, in true spirit of their ancestor, hold traditional medicine and magical charm, very difficult to contend. Nto died at maturity, and Omodia, having nine sons and some daughters, five of them formed Igbonto, and the others went in search of new settlement. From there, the settlement expanded and now a banke. From the story so far, you can now understand how the name Enogi came because somebody contended out with me that the kings from Ibanke or the kings of uh, the settlements or the heads of every settlement in Ibanke are referred to as Obi. No. They are referred to as Enugi. You know, that was the name that came from the Oba at that particular time. 